Don't do that. Hmm. Don't follow him. Motor's part of the contract? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, yeah. I assume so, but let's make sure we put that in then. Like I said, I don't want to show me your contract. Yep, definitely is. So just a reminder, guys, when you clean the home, they need to power wash this, they need to power wash the driveway, and the acid wash the river. These, 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 they got you guys. But it's called too. Same thing. Yeah, I hate that, but that's where the feds miss it. It's not their fault. I forgot to mention that. So, I'll you. All right, guys. Orientation, orientation day with the builder, right? Guys, I don't know how long, oftentimes when I come here, I don't have good reception, so I don't know how long we're going to be able to record. But this family, they're getting ready to close on this awesome four-bedroom, two-bath home over in Ellis County. It has a three-car garage, right? It's orientation day. It's over, uh, it's four bedrooms, it has a three-car garage. Right, the builder still has uh, some work to do, right? But this is the orientation day. Uh, they'll still have to do a really deep clean. Appliances are not here yet. But a really great floor plan. As you enter, you're in this awesome foyer. Okay, you have the first bedroom to the right there. A family of uh, just husband and wife, and they have a a daughter that'll be with them. So four bedroom, this is gonna be hubby's area at the front. He'll have this as a home office, his little area. All right, everybody works from home. So this will be his home office fun room. I right, but this is a really great premium builder. They, this is the kind of builder where they have packages. So the family got to choose their color colors right there's carpet in the bedrooms and they have this awesome hardwood like tile in all the wet places all right so there's that front bedroom and right, here's that garage we'll come back and see what they're doing here in a little bit really great floor plan here is the uh laundry room here Here's the laundry room. Okay, this is one of the best things about uh, new construction homes is the, hold up Paul, are you gonna be able to open that? You just saw him open that. But this is where the water cutoff and the internet is. Wash room. Right on this hallway, we have uh, the two other bedrooms. Right. This one was a little over 2,000 square feet. Right, this one was priced in the low 400s, right at 400,000. Got a nice linen closet in the hallway. Here's the bag, number one. Place for the soap. Place for your tiles. Then here is bedroom. She's trying to connect. Oh, here y'all are. Awesome. Right, so there's the kitchen. Right again, this builder, they got to select their kitchen color cabinet. So a white one, a white kitchen cabinet. So we have a beautiful white kitchen cabinets with a subway tile and awesome grayish countertops, right? The gray matches the floor. 
Like this, uh, we're still waiting on appliances. All right, so they will have built-in appliances, a built-in microwave and stove. All right, this is a gas community, so they're gonna have a gas drop stove there. All right, they chose to get the farmhouse sink. I got a kitchen bar area over there, additional storage. All right, great pantry. All right, before closing, we'll come back. You'll notice blue tape everywhere and just projects that are not finished. All right, before closing, we'll come back and we'll make sure all of these items are repaired. Here's their owner's retreat. All right, notice this builder does give you ceiling fans in all the rooms except the kitchen, right? The kitchen has the pendant lights above. Okay, so notice we did see ceiling fans in every room. All right. So here's the owner's retreat bath. Right, again, they're finishing up some things. It has his and her sinks. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. That's his and her sinks. All right, this one does have a garden tub and shower with a bench. All right, so there's a nice garden tub for showers. All right, notice the blue tape. They still have a little work to do. There's the bench for the shower. All right, they're excited about that. Right, and then they have a great walk-in closet with built-ins. Oh, y'all are back. Y'all are back. Let's show you the back, the backyard. A really great backyard with a covered patio. Grass is coming in nicely. They'll have a fresh cut before they close. Good thing they'll have an entrance. See that door? That's the back of that third car garage. So they'll have an entry from their third car garage. Like they'll be able, like for their lawn equipment, they'll be able to access. This builder also gives you gate access on both sides, which is really great. But a really nice size backyard. Lots of possibilities here. Right, they're empty nesters. All their children are grown, grown. No, only one access, Paula. One access. But they got this one. We've been under contract since, oh, gosh, about the beginning of the year. And the last two. What will they do about the grass? So they'll replace these spots? David, uh, well, David already talked to him before I got here. He said, David said they're going to replace it. Yeah. Okay, yes. I wasn't here for that conversation, but that's what he told me that David. Either way, we're still going to put that in here. Awesome, awesome. All right, so what will happen, guys, is all the things that are not done, like we have a list of things inside, including some of these spots that did not take, right? The builder will be replanting these areas uh, before uh, closing. All right, but this community, as you notice, they have two trees, all right, two trees in the front. Every builder is different. It depends on uh, the city, the county, the home is located. That dictates um, the, uh, the amount of trees and bushes that the builders have to provide. All right, but again, there'll be a punch list again of all the items that are not done. Right, of all the items that are not done. So here. Oh, you're missing plants. That's what it is. 
I thought they were, um, I thought they were valve shut off, so I thought they were missing the lids, but, yeah, yeah so I'll, I'll just put that's missing some plants up here. So these, these two right here are the sewer clean right? Yeah, that one that's going to go to the house, that one's going to go to the street. I know it's weird because it's double cross, but it is, so the plumber needs to access it. So remember, boss, that's the, remember that fresh air intake I want you to rinse out? That, it's leading from that one. Yes, sir. So this, the, the trimming here, they still have to come in. Okay, guys, he's a third party inspector uh, that this builder uses to go over the home uh, with the buyer. So he's a, he's a third party company that the this builder hires to uh, go over the uh, the home with you. Um, and so then he's going to make a report that we'll send back uh, to the uh, to the builder. And those will be the things that um, they'll make sure to repair before closing. Right, And before closing, we will come and do a final walkthrough. Uh, to make sure that those changes uh, have been have been made. And I do I do this for a living, so I, mean, I can tell you I've seen them. I don't see anything in my opinion that they can't make it. Uh, yeah. to now things out of things out of their control is what I would be worried about. And they did a water heater by Thursday. Yeah. You know that was stolen. That wasn't on them. You know it's things like that that supply issues that usually the biggest hold up. So we'll. We'll have to see, huh? Will they make it? Mm -hmm. All right, so in his report, he'll send those pictures and everything that he's taken. Will you put a fresh cut on there for us before closing? Sure. Put a, we want you want a fresh cut, right, honey? Well, I'm assuming yes. with the fresh saw they would have to anyway. Okay. But we'll still mention it. Yes, put yeah, it on course. there. Yeah, sure. That way he won't have to get his lawnmower out for at least a week or two. To do what? Well, tell me, you know, get us a, fr a fresh cut, you know, by before closing again. He said he liked cutting the yard though. It's therapeutic for you. Cooking for me. Cooking is therapeutic yeah. for you. Cooking. Hard work, nothing. I mean, I'll do it, but it ain't therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> Front yard homes, man. We've all seen one of those. Well, you already know where you, we talked about that. They told you about it. Uh, the 90 degree PVC there you see is the wires feeding from the sprinkler control, feeding underground into the green boxes that you see scattered around the yard because that's how the communication's happening. Cable internet provider, if they need any fiber optics or some here left for them. Now this is the grounding we were talking about inside, right, where it goes in, grounds it all. Uh, keep in mind, it does kick it back out right here. So, actually right here where my boot's at is the metal rod coming from the earth. So when you're cutting the yard, be careful there, use a weed eater around it, right? Uh, meter there, nothing you'll ever touch. Guys, there. whenever I'm in this sun, my phone does not cooperate, so I wanna, don't want that to happen. I just wanted to kind of bring y'all a little bit of part of their journey, but my phone gets hot and it's not going to last. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. But it's orientation day for this family. Again, this is the time where the builder goes over the home. This particular builder has a third party instructor that goes over the home, right? Uh, note any deficiencies, like we'll be replacing all of this grass. We're still waiting on a couple of things in the home, but they're basically here to tell us how the home operates and to help us uh, identify any deficiencies, right?